Alrighty guys, I'm Casey and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival. Last episode we worked on the market square which if we get up here we may actually be able to see. It's quite possible but I'll show it off anyway regardless of whether we can see it or not. But this episode what I want to do is I want to work on a little bit of a farmhouse. Now you can't quite see the market square from here. But we worked on this part of the market square here. And I think this looks really cool. I'm really happy with this. There's still plenty of space like I wanted, but it also looks really busy. And we've got a nice array of colors here. And I really enjoyed doing this. Remember this sugar cane here is just temporary. This is used for me to be able to trade paper with villagers so I can get mending. Still working on mending. I still need it on here and all of my um, gear. I still need to work on my gear some. I've been kind of slacking because I've been busy. <laughs> uh, but this episode, what I want to do is I want to work on up here. Because you see, I'd, I'd really like a manor house up here that actually looks out, one, over this area, and two, over this area. Which means we're going to have to do some really intricate designs. It's also going to be a farmhouse, and I think that I just want, I want the house to come to basically here. So if I just say we do seven here, and then we bring this out three, um, how would that look? Because bearing in mind, we everything would be up to this layer here. So, let me think about this a minute. Um, maybe we should work over here, because I definitely want some sort of like cliff here. Uh, and I think we could do the cliff at this point here. So if we go 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Let's just say we go 11 there. Uh, we'd start to bring this back. I definitely want this to be an odd number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we can just bring this out again a little bit. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then if we were to do this to there, what's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 again. 7. I'm trying to go for like a, a unique shape, something that we don't see very often uh, in Minecraft. But uh, again, we don't have to worry too much about the roof. So what is this here? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so this is 7 here. So what if we were to repeat this? 3, 4, 5, 6. And I think this counts as 7. Was that right? What was that? Eight? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's actually 8 there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, let's bring this across again like so and that brings us to here okay so if I just take this out just temporarily we can run with this again remember this is where I actually want us to live we want to move out of that house and move into the manor house so I'm just kind of trying to think like how I actually want to do this let's bring this back like so, um, I think I want to bring that back one more. This doesn't need to be even with the other side at all, but I do definitely want it to be somewhat reasonable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so that's seven, that's good. And again, we take this back three. We can just bring this forward. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So if we were to bring that and take that like so. I think that would be a good shape. Very unique shape here we've got going on here. And uh, again, we could just bring this forward a little bit. So one, two, three. And then just bring this across. And that gives us a very nice shape here for quite a sizable house. Now, I don't think we're going to get the inside of this house done in this episode. <laughs> But I do want to get the outside, and I think I'm going to keep it... I, I don't know, do I want to keep it one story, or do I want to make it more? I think if we were to go up two, three, four, five there, and then one more, and bring it across here, it actually might be worth it. If I were to bring it across here, and have sort of just this rectangular bit here sort of sticking out, I don't know exactly how this is going to look. I don't have a plan for this. I haven't done this in a creative testing world. 
Uh, I haven't had the time to actually. I'd have liked to, Rob, but I just don't have the time. So I'm kind of running here with sort of what we see. So let's just get the, the skeleton in place a little bit. And I can go and fill this in between clips. That's not a problem. So let's just bring this across and see how this looks. Uh, we are going to need a way to get upstairs. That could possibly be what we use this area for here. Although I would like a little sitting room there. And we'll obviously we'll work on the inside of this. I, I'm going to have a lot of fun with the inside of this. I can already tell. Okay, so let's just do that and get rid of you. So. Uh, let's have a quick look. Get rid of you. Okay, so I'm liking that. The question is, how many did we go up over here? Because this is how much I want to go up before I start it. Uh, we went up two, three, four, five, and then we had, yeah, okay. So I think I'll go up one more in total, but let's have a little look just to see where the height of that actually comes out of when we're here. Okay, cool. So we are actually getting to see some of that, which is good. And uh, I'm thinking of maybe even adding a third floor in, just to make it a little bit more prominent, to, to make sure that there's more to it. So, let's, let, let me get some of this put in. I do want to actually start working on an iron farm relatively soon. I've found a design that I do kind of like. So if we were to go up here, uh, we were to say, you know what, I actually really would like... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I really, really, really would like to go across here like so and add in an additional floor. But I only want this to be short, so I'm going to go about a halfway between here and here. So what's this? Uh, I think one more should do. Again, we're just getting the wiring frame down for this and we'll We'll better work on this as we progress through this build. So let me get this done. And we're almost there. And then we can see just like how this how this stretches out down there. Now, I don't want to make it any more bigger than that. I think that's pretty good. But the idea is I want you to be able to see this manor house from down here. I really need feather falling. Oh, yes, yes. We get a nice good view of that like that, don't we? Uh, and do we see it from down on the docks? That's interesting, because I would really like to. But uh, I don't think we're going to be able to. I think there's going to be just too much in the way. And even if we can, I think buildings are going to end up in the way as we go along anyway. So I think we're going to get like the outer shell of this done today. There are going to be some really fast-paced episodes coming up, because I do want to solve sort this entire village. I want to have it completed before episode 50. And the manor house is one of the bigger builds to be done. Oh, we can. Yes, I like that. The fact that it's just... Yes, it's sneaking out there. I kind of like that. Cool, 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 cool. So yeah, let me go and get the uh, case of planks filled in there. And I'm just going to take up a pillar in the corner of Sandstone to figure out exactly how high I need to go. And I will be back with you, well, when this is in a case of block, basically. <laughs> See you soon. Welcome back guys, and I got the big block of a case to put in and you can kind of see it there peeking over and I do rather like it the fact that we can see it from here and the fact that we're going to be able to see the manor house from pretty much all angles of here so we, we get a little bit of blocks when we get here but that's fine as you can see I got a pillar of sandstone in just to kind of help me figure out how I want to detail it. and what I want to do now is I want to detail the bottom row we're going to very much keep with the same design that we've been using here because I do want all the buildings to relatively look alike and I cannot climb up here for the life of me. So let's let's figure this out exactly how we are going to do this. So we're going to put a piece of cut sandstone. I think that's what we've been using here. It goes cut, then it goes do chiseled. So chiseled, chiseled, followed by a cut, chiseled and cut. And that'll take us all the way up to there. Okay. So put it out on this corner, get this in place, relatively easy, and then can we do three? That is, ooh, this is a little bit of a, of an odd number. 
That's in this is an even number unless I mistakenly counted it. One, two. So we do we can do a four and a three. So what about if we were to do a four? A four. Oops, that's not the right block. A four. And then we get a six. I mean, we could always go with an even number and have sort of an entrance way here and have the door to the to the place there I mean, yeah yeah I kind of like the idea of doing that actually now I'm thinking about it it's not very often I build on an even number I could have sworn that I made sure all of these were odd numbers but I must have somehow miscounted it has been a bit of a long day for me I'm trying to do a lot of things today uh, and it's, it's not always going according to plan so Let's go ahead and put ourselves these down like so. And I think what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and do that there. And we can do the same thing at the bottom here. It's It'll work. And we get that. And then, of course, we'll take the sandstone. And we'll pop the sandstone up there. Oops, come on. You know, we go very close, are you? Kind of a bit behind on time for videos today. Yeah, and what we could do is we could also add in additional ones. Sometimes we add in ones, we've added in ones there, but on the library we didn't. I think on the manor house we will. Because I, I kind of like the way that that looks. And again, I want to take this all the way across the top, like so here and here. We're only going to do one side together because it's basically copy-paste for the rest of this. And let's give ourselves some sandstone stairs and put those in there. And there, and uh, there, and there, 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 and how did we do this one? We went like so. Now this is the one we need to figure out here. We can, of course, still continue a portion of this, but I think that we do at this point need to do something. I think we'll take this and... Uh, We'll do that. That works. I mean, that looks really good. I kind of like that. Although I'm thinking about this, and what if we were to change this and have this be like that? How would that look? I think I like this one better. I definitely do like that one better. So we'll do that. So yeah, I'm pretty much going to copy and paste this. I mean, not literally copy and paste it because this is survival, but you get the picture. I'm just going to rinse and repeat this. Um, we do run into a little bit of an issue there because that doesn't divide evenly. I mean, we could always do that. I mean, that's fine. I mean, if it, it doesn't, add, doesn't divide evenly, that's fine. But uh, this one's a little bit more on the awkward side. <laughs> uh, especially considering that that comes out there. I think I'm going to have to take that and move it back one. But that's not a problem. That's not a problem. What is a problem is the time constraints that I'm under today. Uh, I'm running low on time today to record, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, I, got, I, I got distracted. Well, I didn't get distracted. It's just there was something on that I really, really wanted to watch. So if we do a two there and a three there, that at least mirrors that. And then that divides evenly by three. Um, you don't, but we can do a two and a three, and again a two and a three, so that's not a big deal. Three, or one, two, three. That divides evenly by three. I hear a drowned. Uh, that's a four, we can do a four. Um, we'll just do that just to make that look a little bit better and yeah that, that'll do so yeah let me get all these in place and I'll be back with you in a bit welcome back and I've got it in place and we can kind of see it just peeking out back there and I really really like the way that that looks actually I really really do and if we go down here it doesn't look as grandiose but it still looks pretty good and I really do like it and yeah well, I it's been a day for me. It's been a day. 
Yeah, I recorded the last clip about about half an hour before I picked my daughter up from school and then on the journey to pick my daughter up, as you can see this pops up, up there. But yeah, on the journey to pick my daughter up, I got one hell of a headache, so I just kind of didn't ease off till like 10 o'clock at night. So I don't know if it's because I've not slept very well the past few days. I've had a little bit, I've been feeling a little bit under the weather. I've had a little bit of a cold, I think. But uh, as you can see, this is like this, and I really do like this. But I think that I definitely want to put a structure here um, that has a staircase at the back. I think I may actually choose to, if you look down here, I may choose to bring the staircase over some more and put the building like right here. And the reason that I'm thinking that is simply because if we just like pillow up here and we say we put the building about here, I'm just going to put a couple of things like so. Oh, I got to remember I don't have feather falling. And I think we'll see it there. I think that'll be good because we can still have it roughly here and make it meet up there, I think, because this isn't a hard, fast place where this is going to go. And instead of having the road coming alongside this, we could have the road come alongside this and then another road come across here. But as you can see, I've got this mostly in place. The only thing I've got left to do is actually put in the window panes, which shouldn't take me too long at all. But uh, the inside, there is very little, if much of anything, actually. Done here. I did have to move the walls around just a little bit here and there just to make them kind of work the way that I wanted them to. Uh, and I do believe I can indeed take these out. Yes. Cool. So I'll show you what I actually had to do to make them work a little bit in just a brief moment because the the way that I had it I didn't like the way it went up in there now this is the only place where we have two uh, pillars side by side like that nowhere else in this setup do we actually have that they're all on the corners but because of the way that I built this it made it so that this side was very different this side lined up perfectly uh, and obviously this comes out one here because this had to be pushed back one and I thought about just sort of like redesigning it so it did work. But at the same time, I thought, actually, you know what? This makes it different from all of the other builds in the place. And it adds some variant to it. And it doesn't need to be the same. So I got that in place. And I kind of like that. And again, I just went for the slabbed roof. The same that we've got everywhere else in here like this. Uh, it is possible that we could have maybe a raised roof slightly on the top. But I don't think we need to. But one thing that I do want to do is I want to... I want to start getting some farms in place and working some more on this, but unfortunately, I'm running low on time for this episode, and I kind of want to work on that in the next episode, or maybe, maybe I want to work on this tower in the next episode, because I do know that I want to get an iron farm up and running, so I can sort of leave it running for like a week, and then we'll have a bunch of iron. But, um... Yeah, I think that's probably the best thing to do. And to do that, I need some wheat fields, I need some potato fields, and some carrot fields because I need to, I need to ensure my villagers breed when I put them in the iron farm. So I think maybe the next one we'll focus more on the farmhouse, uh, try and get some of the grounds done because I really, really would like it. And as you can see, we've got, we've got this guy in here that, again, these these guys just come raiding in this. Oh, oh. it's super annoying. But uh, yeah, I do definitely want to bring some sort of uh, road up there as well. And I don't know what I want to do quite here just yet. But one thing that I do want to do is I want to have a quick sleep. I want to see if indeed we can see that tower from down on the docks. Because if we're going to do a monster tower, I do or a monster building anyway that leads down to the, you know, uh, over here. If we are going to do a, a building that leads down to the mob grinder, then I definitely want to be able to see it from the docks, I really do. And that just kind of dictates like how high I'm going to go. And the question is, do I want to do a tower? Because I'm not that good at towers. And since I'm behind on videos, do I want to do something that I know I'm going to have to spend time on? Or do I want to do something I know how to build and just recreate one of these buildings or something very similar to this? Maybe we could do a building and actually just put a, uh, a triangle roof on it just for some variant. I mean, that, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, would it? I think that might actually look really nice. So we're coming across the docks here, and no, we can't quite see it, but I don't actually think we're there yet. Probably have to go a bit further down the docks, and the docks are, again, something I need to work on, but 
I'm kind of out of ideas for the docks at the minute. I mean, I've got some, but they involve big ships, and I've never built a ship before. Um, so that we can't see from down here. Okay, but we can see it from down here, but, but that's fine. So maybe like a, a, I think maybe a small building on this side here, and then a taller building on this side with a triangle roof, I'm thinking. Yeah, but we will get into that. Uh, later, not right now. I've got other things that I need to do right now. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to call it for this episode. But I actually do want to discuss one thing with you and see what you guys think. So, I've got this uh, modern world that I've been playing on for a significant period of time. And I'm thinking of moving it over to the channel and calling it Modern Survival. And it will be basically very similar to this, only instead of this being vanilla, an endless vanilla world, that would more than likely be an endless uh, modded world. And we'd, we'd explore mods. The only trouble is it's a mod pack in 1.7.10. And I don't know if I do want to do that or not because of just stuff. I mean, it would be nice to have this mod pack that we play, but at the same time I've already done a significant portion of the stuff that needs to be done. But it might be nice to build up a base together on it. Work on something together on it and just kind of bring you in for it, it, it would be fun. Yeah, of course I let him out. Because, of course I do. Why, why would I not let him out? You've not got the banner, so I can actually kill you without too much of an issue. Now, I have been thinking of finding an illager outpost and creating an illager farm because I think, I'm not sure if they do drop emeralds, but if they do... Oh yeah, yeah, of course, that's, that's what's in there. I need to be wary of that as well. I thought I thought there was a drown for a second then. But uh, yeah, I've been thinking of doing that and seeing if we can get emeralds that way. From watching uh, some Hermitcraft and Exuma's done something very similar. The only trouble is I don't remember seeing him get a um, getting any emeralds from it. So I don't know if they do. I'd have to look into it a little bit more. But it is certainly something to, to think about. Because, I mean, we got four emeralds from just one guy there. So, it, it might be better than this sugarcane method that I've got. But yeah, I think I definitely, I think like a nice little sort of tower in this corner here with another building maybe around here for this would be really, really nice. And I also think I might do a um, bamboo and sugarcane farm over here. Because I've done them in the past and I'll probably repeat the designs I've used in the past, but we'd have one as bamboo and one as sugarcane. Uh, I don't know, but I do really like this. I am going to put the windows in off camera between episodes rather than do a separate clip for that. But, uh, yeah, let's... Uh, do I really want to do this like this? I think I do. There we go. But, yeah, I think that's going to call it for this episode, guys. So, if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel, and I really do appreciate it. So, please do leave that like. And click subscribe if you want to see more from me. Guys, I'm Casey. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.